Yo, what is up, guys? James Carter TV here to recap the Denver Broncos Seattle Seahawks 2014 regular season matchup in which the Seattle Seahawks pulled it out 26 to 20, a game where they pretty much dominated most of the game, but they allowed the Denver Broncos to come back in the fourth quarter because the Seahawks were up 17 to 3 going into the fourth quarter, but a Russell Wilson interception near uh, their own 20 yard line led to the Broncos getting an easy touchdown there. And then ultimately getting a touchdown and a uh, two-point conversion to finish off the game, forcing the game, not finish off the game, but to force it into overtime where the Seahawks went right up the field, scored a touchdown, Marshawn Lynch scoring a six-yard touchdown, thrusting himself into the end zone, touchdown Seahawks, yay, parade, we're all happy in Seattle. But I'll say it again, I've been saying it since day one. And I've been wrong twice, you know, for my weekly predictions, but I was close this week. And I'm telling you guys again, I'm on the record. I, my balls are still as big as ever. The Seahawks will miss the playoffs this season. And this game only validated that for me. Why, you ask? Well, like I said, the Seahawks dominated this game, and yet, at home, they barely... Walked away with a victory, essentially, because you went to an overtime game that's barely winning to me. And we still have tough games on the schedule for Seattle. At Washington. At Carolina. At San Francisco. At Philadelphia. At Arizona. Those are very, very tough games. And then they cannot trip up in a, a whole bunch of other games. Versus Dallas. I know Dallas did not look too good today, but that's not easy to beat Dallas because you could catch them on a bad day. Um, at St. Louis. St. Louis did not look good today, but that's still not an easy win going to St. Louis. Winning in St. Louis, not easy to do. Hosting Arizona. Arizona's 4-0, and 3-0. They're on top of their division. They're hot as crap. Facing that team is not going to be easy. So there's still an at Kansas City, that's not going to be easy. So there's still a lot of things where I sit back and I say, I'm sick about my prediction because this game did not show to me uh, that the, the Seattle Seahawks are as unbeatable, unstoppable as we believe them to be. And I think their schedule and a little bad luck will prevent them from going to the playoffs. But let's talk about the game. Um... Russell Wilson played well. The the interception. I mean, I heard some people saying that oh, it's not his fault. It's a freak interception. Well, I think it is his fault. I think he threw it into coverage. Uh, there's two guys, oh, three Broncos, pretty much, essentially in that portion of the field. He threw it high. He thought he could get it over the Broncos. I keep to leave, but he was wrong. That's a forced throw to me. The interception is on him. To me, yes, it's a great play by Aqib Talib. That doesn't make it worse of a play by Russell Wilson. Bad decision there led to the interception. But besides that, he played a pretty much phenomenal game. You know, very good decision-making. Ran when he had to in that last overtime drive. His runs were absolutely slashing the Broncos' defense at the end. And that's what ultimately led to their victory to me. Uh, those runs that Russell Wilson was able to... Uh, d display at the end of the game because of the Broncos linebackers lack of either awareness or lack of play calling when it comes to a quarterback spy. I don't understand why you do not say, hey, uh, Danny Trevathan. Oh, he's not even playing. Nate Irving, why don't you look at Russell Wilson? Why don't you keep your eyes on Russell Wilson? Why don't you make sure this guy doesn't go anywhere? Why the Broncos did not make that conscious decision, I don't know. Russell Wilson leads his team down the, down the field and scores the shot at the end of the game. Congratulations. Um, Peyton Manning, I, he was terrible, and, and he is the reason to me uh, why the Broncos lost the game, and yeah, you could say he validated himself by that last drive of his, uh, you know, but I don't care, because the defense was great today, it was great, the Broncos defense was great today, allowing only 20 points in regulation, allowing only 3 points at the end of the second half, and the only reason they allowed any points in the second half, the only reason they allowed 3 points in the second half, was because Peyton Manning himself threw a 52-yard interception, that's the only reason why the Broncos allowed any any points. If Peyton Manning would have just led his team down the field when they were down 17 to 12, 
to me, this game could have been over. And the Broncos could have left Seattle with a W. So that has to be evaluated and thought about. Uh, but ultimately, uh, you know, Seahawks take it home 26 to 20, sticking by my prediction. I know, you know, I'm going to get vilified, but at the end of the season, we're going to see what happens. But I'm sticking with it again. I'll say it one more time. No playoffs for the Seahawks. With that said, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace. Oh, man. Oh, and it's not ending, so that's great. Oh, and check out my Chiefs Titans recap, it's about to be uploaded.